Scare Rock RC. I got something pretty cool that I'm going to start doing here on this bench behind me. Um, so we're going to check that out and I'm going to kind of go over what we're going to do and uh, how it's going to all kind of work here. So we got a battle of the trucks coming up here. Eh, probably going to get done with this within a month. So let's go to the table and I'll show you what I got going on. Ta-da! K5 versus TRX 4M. That's what we're doing. Um, I've seen a lot of the videos going back and forth and um, which one's better, which one's worse. And we're going to do this thing my way. And my way is we're going to do as identical upgrades as we can to both of these trucks. Um, and I'm going to go over what we got for them. And then we're just going to duke it out. Probably going to go to Paradise Crawl Zone and just do section by section by section. And just see how each truck performs. So what I have here, and this, this goes over here. So um, I already did one take of this and I, I didn't like it. So that's why the sticker pack's out of that. Um, <laughs> so this has more stuff than the Blazer does because quite simply the Blazer already has the OGRC wheels with the brass rings, already has the Endure tires, and it already has the Trail steering linkage. So the only thing I'm doing left is gonna be the links and the servo. So over here we have OGRC from Amazon, same wheels just in a more like a steely design does have the brass uh, rings these are the same tires the identically same tires that the blazer has um and i'm trying to show these part numbers and stuff like that as best i can so you know if you think i'm oopsies think i'm bsing a little bit then you can go back in the videos and see the part numbers of what i got i'm also going to link all these parts up uh, so we got the Enjora Brass Links. There you go. That's the ones we're using. And we also have a Trio uh, Aluminum Steering Linkage for the TRX 4M. And there it is right there. Uh, for the K5, we, got, we went with Trio because um, they didn't have... Either of these trucks really had an identical type of uh, high clearance link. Um, so I went trio here, and I, I think I, I personally like the rounded links like these here, um, which is why I got them for the TRX 4M. Um, they didn't have any that I really found available. There may be some available for the FMS, uh, but they only had the boxy style, which is trio, which is fine. These are also uh, brass like the Enjoras. So. Uh, for servos, we got identically the same. Like I said, I already did a take of this video. Uh, this one's still factory sealed. Um, so these are from AGFRC. Um, these are super similar to the uh, Reefs 99 Micro. Um, not going to say they're made in the same plant or anything like that. Um, I really do love Reefs products, um, but I do like to do things a little bit budget, and I did get these AGFRCs on Amazon for a good deal, and I will link them into uh, the comments as well, uh, most likely on the build videos instead of right here because this is just an announcement. So um, these do include a metal horn, and it's right there. Both trucks will be getting that. Um, and they're, they're pretty, the specs on these, I'll show you. I mean, ooh, there we go. I mean, that's pretty good. 7.5 kilogram, 104 ounce inch at 8.4. Now we're not running 8.4, uh, yet. Um, but the specs on this are, are pretty solid, um, uh, cordless, high voltage, cool little servos. And they are special editions, uh, 2023, the designs are different stuff like that so um with all that said this is what we're doing um i've seen a lot of videos out there of the uh of a trx 4m versus fms k5 blazer because for some reason out of the 
uh, FCX 24 chassis, this is the one everybody decided to choose to go up against the T-Rex form. So, as far as anything else, box stock, box stock, upgrade for upgrade is what we're doing. So, this one's got oil shocks from the factory. This one did not. However, it does include the O-rings to make them oil shocks, oil-filled shocks. So, they're going to stay like they are. They're going to have their oil in them because they are provided with the factory box. Um, another thing is on this, obviously we are portal axled, two speed, and the Bronco is a straight axle, single speed. So that's box for box right there. So I will be using the two speed if I need to use the two speed. Um, if that gives it an advantage, it does because it came with it from the factory. We're not adding speeds, adding portals, anything major. These are major modifications. These are links, servos, wheels, and tires. Basically, is what we're doing, and that's it. You know, so these are simple modifications that everybody could afford to do. Um, Bolt-on stuff, box for box, truck for truck, done deal. Um, so, you know, likewise, if the lower center of gravity and the longer wheelbase of the TRX4M does help it over the FMS, it, so be it. I'm not going to favor one truck or the other, over the other. We're going to go to Paradise Crawl Zone and we're going to go, you know, line with one truck, line with the other truck. And then we're going to move along to another obstacle and another line. And we're going to do each thing in a row and just see how many attempts the truck makes you know how many attempts the truck takes to make the line make the obstacle uh how many times it flips how well it does doing it uh if i had to move it hand of god anything like that um so we're just kind of kind of delve it out and honestly i'll probably just let you guys decide which one do you think is the king of the 18th scales and i know i know hold on this is marketed as 24 but look at it. That's, that's an 18th scale if, if I ever saw one. So with that said, we're, we're not going to do the semantics and the nitpicky. Um, so this is what we got. We're going to do both rigs the identical same way as best we can. Like I said, there's some differences in branding and stuff here and there. But overall, actually, only it's the links. The links are the only difference. And the fact that these are black steelies instead of white wagon wheels they weigh the same. So, um, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this thing. Um, I'm trying to make this as fair as possible, as easy, even as possible. I've seen some videos that were just like, well, here's a modified M versus a box stock K five or vice versa. It's not really a, a, you know, a comparison. So I'm trying to make it as even as possible, compare both trucks, see which one we like. Uh, mind you, the K five stock motor, stock electronics, TRX4M, stock motor, stock electronics. Everything out of the box is how it is. These are the upgrades we're getting. Like I said, some of the stuff is already installed onto this, like the wheels, the tires, and the it does have the Trio steering link already on there, and it's aluminum. I promise it is. Um, this bumper, I'm going to leave on it. Want to know why? came in the box. So it came with it. So that bumper stays. So, with all that said, um, I hope everybody is going to enjoy this series. Um, I'm probably going to do like, you know, wheel and tire install video, and then I'll do like a link install video and a servo install video. Um, so, it'll be like three videos on the M, and then we've got two more videos on the K5, um, and then for that... So you got three, four, five, five videos, amongst other things. And then the sixth in the series will be the face-off at Paradise Crawl Zone, Titusville, Florida. So I'll give a notice before that's going to happen, because if you're local, feel free to come out when I do this. So I'll post about it on the socials and the Facebooks and the Instagrams and all that stuff. So with all that said... Like and subscribe, drop in the comments what you think, and uh, if you can, drop in the comments of how we're going to score this and how we're going to make some sort of attempt 
to come up with a winner. We may not. Who knows? I like the way that drives, and I like the way this drives, and I honestly like the way this looks better. Um, but we'll see what we got. Cheese it versus Black Flag. Bite to the death. Not really, but, you know. Anyway, drop in the comments, like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. Get out there, get dirty with some RCs. Until next time, take it easy.